What's up everyone, it's Sian the producer here and welcome to my channel. So we're going to combine one of the techniques I did in a previous video where I made use of Nano Studio, except I'm going to use it one of my favorite and I mean my favorite apps here. I'm going to make a new project just to demonstrate this and I'll call this Reason. And as you guessed it, it's Reason Compact that we're going to be using on this. So I'm going to create this document. And what I'm going to do is, just as I did, I'm just going to add external MIDI tracks. I need only three of them because Reason Compact only has three instruments for now. Reason, if you're watching this, um, please add more because your app was really, really awesome. But anyways, that's not the point for today. So what we're going to do is we want to set it so that it is controlled by Reason Compact. I'm going to open up my list of applications. And yes, I do have a lot, but Reason Compact. Now to use the Reason Compact, you need to open up a new project. So I'll just call this a new project. Once this project is created, that's all you need. You can always adjust the sounds by going directly into here. But what I want to do is I want to go look for Audio Bus. This app, while you could use it in ARM, currently the MIDI routing works well on Audio Bus. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load this directly here. I, yeah, I could have launched it directly from here. And yeah, but here's what we're going to do. The output, you want to go look for the apps that have the output. And we're just going to look for each of the reason compacts. So you, you've got Europa, which is their main scent. Now, if I can find it again, this would be awesome. <laughs> we got Rhythmic and we've got monotone if I can find it yeah so those are the three synths in Risen Compact what you're gonna do is you're just gonna route it directly into the MIDI bridge so MIDI bridge 1, MIDI bridge 2 and MIDI bridge 3 now you wanna save this because you're gonna need it later I already saved it down here but for the sake of us making a new one yeah save all steam sounds cool so this is how it's going to be routed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Nano Studio. I tapped on the icon on the very top. I opened it. Now we're going to go, yeah, just as we did with Gadget 2. What we want to do is we're going to tap on this icon here to the left. I'm going to go to Audio Bus and see if it works. If it doesn't, let's try Network Session 1. And we'll see how it goes through. not sounding. Let's figure out what's going on here. Maybe it was sounding. I'm just the one who's not hearing it. Yeah, I don't have my headphones connected. Let's fix that right up. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to connect my headphones so I can hear this. Okay, so we can set that to MIDI 1 under the Audio Boss channel. Alright, let's hang on for one second. I gotta grab my earphones because I just plugged in the charger. That's why I couldn't hear anything. Please stay on the line. Your call is very important to us. <laughs> okay, I just got my headphones in. I'm just plugging it right now. So let's plug it in now. There we go. I can hear myself and I can hear the audio. So let's try that. Da -da -da -da. Let's see if we can record it. Sir. Okay, okay. Let's get back to track view. It's such a simple sequence, but you see why I really like this. Okay, that didn't work. So 
So let me pause it. I'm gonna do that is just trace to see if it's working. But yeah, it's my bad. Okay. So that's ready to make a. I should probably label it uh, next time if I need this project. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Can we rename it? Come on. Let us rename it. Ah, I'm sorry, guys. I haven't read everything yet. But I thought I should be able to rename it. Hmm. Um, in its copy, external MIDI patch. Okay, you know what? It, it calls it itself, I guess. Maybe when I figure it, I can do it. All right, so that's for the drums, I guess. Now let's try the last one. Tap on this one, the third one, monotone. So. Let's hear melody. Now, what do I really like really compact? Well, Europa is amazing. Let's get going. I can make chords mode. I'm going to give C major, so I need to change it. Okay, that sounds awful. I'm going to I could use that to navigate, but yeah, this is just a very basic technique as to show you how to use this. Okay, I hope this was useful. Take care, guys.